What's up everyone, my name is Daniel and welcome to Crypto Bull. In today's video, I will be showing you how to add the liquidity to the liquidity pool. It can be Ethereum token, it can be Binance Smart Chain, it can be Base Network, it can be Uniswap, PancakeSwap or any decentralized exchange. I'll be showing you step by step, number one, how to add the liquidity to the liquidity pool and number two, how to remove the liquidity from the liquidity pool. So let's jump right into this. All right, so in order to add liquidity to liquidity pool, we need to have some token. And for that matter, I will be minting some new tokens just for the purpose of this video, for which we will be creating a liquidity pool on Binance Smart Chain on PancakeSwap. You can replicate this method for Uniswap on Ethereum tokens or base network tokens as well. The process is exactly similar and I'll be showing you how to do it on Uniswap as well. So let's go ahead and mint some new tokens. For this video, I have already created a smart contract. The name of the token is CryptoBull and the symbol of the token is CryptoBull as well. Again, this is just for the purpose of this video. I don't think there is going to be any errors because it does not show any error. The compiler, I will select the right compiler. In this case, it is 0.9. Once you are done with this, click on enable optimization and I will be compiling the tokens great we don't have any errors so now i will proceed to deploy the smart contract on the blockchain so this is the wallet i am using i have a few bnb in my wallet i think this should be enough select the right file and hit deploy and we have created some new tokens called crypto bull I will be copying this transaction hash so that we can verify the smart contract on the blockchain. Here we go. As you can see, Crypto Bull is created. There are some 100 billion tokens, I believe. So the first step will be to verify our smart contract. In this case, this is the smart contract. Simply go to contract, click on verify and publish. Select the right compiler. If you already have tokens in your wallet, you don't need to follow these steps. Simply fast forward to the part where I'm adding the liquidity to the liquidity pool on PancakeSwap. Copy and paste. And I believe this is, and let's verify this contract. And the contract is successfully verified. Great, the first part of this is done. Now, the most important part where we will be adding the liquidity to crypto bull so that it can be traded on PancakeSwap or any decentralized exchange. For this purpose and this video, I'm choosing PancakeSwap, but you can choose any decentralized exchange. It does not matter. So simply go to PancakeSwap.finance, connect your wallet. And my wallet is connected. So the next step is pretty easy. Simply go to liquidity on the drop down from trade from here. You can either go for v3 or go for v2 in my case i will be choosing v2 because that is much more stable add liquidity and now in this step you will be choosing the base token and your token so the base token in this case will be bnb which is the native token on binance smart chain and the second token will be my token that we have just minted which is crypto pull i will be importing this token i understand the risk and once again, you might need to select add V2 liquidity. And here we go. So in this case, I will be adding 75% of the BNB that I have in my wallet at the moment. And similarly, I will be adding maximum crypto bull tokens that I have in my wallet just for the purpose of this video, because I don't want anyone to buy or sell these tokens. So let's hit enable trading. You need to approve a couple of transactions. I'll be approving all the transactions. And so now the first transaction is done, which is the authorize. And now we just need to add the liquidity. So click on add, create, appear, and supply. And here we go. So confirming the transaction and the pair will be created shortly. And the pair is created. So let's go to dex tools and see if we can find our token 
in the live new pairs. So let's go to BNB chain, click on live new pairs. And as you can see, Crypto Bull is the most recently created liquidity pool on Binance Smart Chain. So this token can be traded now, but obviously no one is going to trade it. I don't want anyone to trade it because I will be removing the liquidity. And this is just for the purpose of this video, which is the reason I have added such low liquidity. So now you know exactly how to add the liquidity to the liquidity pool. And now we will be removing the liquidity. Go back to PancakeSwap and now you should be able to see the liquidity pool that you have created. So in order to remove the liquidity, it is a very simple process. Simply click this one and click on remove. And from here, you will be selecting how much liquidity or amount you are going to withdraw or remove from this pool. In my case, I will be removing 100% of both the tokens. So I'm clicking on max. And now the first step will be you need to enable the liquidity pool removal. Again, this will be our transaction. Approve this transaction. Now hit remove. Once again, you need to approve the transaction. And I think we are good to go. And I believe the liquidity is removed successfully. So once the liquidity is removed, go back to the wallet. You should be able to see the original BNB as well as the tokens that you have created the liquidity pool for. In my case, I cannot see the BNB that I added to the liquidity pool even though the transaction is through. So this is a very common thing. Do not panic. It is because your wallet has wrapped BNB instead of the BNB now or WBNB instead of BNB. So in order to get the BNB back, simply go to trade, swap, and make sure your wallet is connected. Now from here, you select WBNB, as you can see here, and select the maximum amount. And as you can see, we have some wrapped BNB in my wallet which is not shown here. You can actually import the tokens, enter the smart contract of wrapped BNB, and then you should be able to see the wrapped BNB as well. So now I will be converting my wrapped BNB back to BNB. So it will be going back to the wallet. Click on unwrap, approve the transaction, and I believe we are done. Now we don't have any wrapped BNB in my wallet. And now I have the original BNB, that I added to the liquidity pool as well as the tokens back in my wallet. So this is how you can add or remove the liquidity from the liquidity pool. The process is exactly similar in case of Uniswap. I'll just show you how it is done in case you're creating a liquidity pool for any Ethereum token or base network token. So go to uniswap.org, launch the app. And from here, you need to click on pool. Once again, you have the option either to select V3 or V2. I prefer V2. Again, it is much more stable. From here, you can add the liquidity to any existing pool or you can create a new pair. In most of the cases, you will be creating a pair. So simply go ahead and click on create a pair. The process is exactly similar. You will be selecting the base token, which is Ethereum, and you will be selecting the token that you have created or you are creating a liquidity pool for. Connect the wallet, pay the gas fee, and you should be able to create a liquidity pool as well. I hope this video was useful for you. Do subscribe to the channel. It really helps to like the video. And also, if you are interested in learning how to launch your own cryptocurrency on any decentralized exchange or through pre-sale or fair launch through pink sale, then go ahead and check out my course, which is Coincraft Blueprint at coincraftblueprint.com. This course is also available on Udemy. The link is in the description. Or if you're interested in knowing how the crypto rug pulls really happen behind the scenes step by step, then go ahead and check out my other course, which is Decoding Crypto Rug Pulls, a complete guide. Once again, the course is available on Udemy as well as on my website. Do check these out. They're on sale for a limited time only. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.